Praise the Lord, everybody. We give God thanks for another day. It's the beginning of the weekend. It's Saturday. A lot of persons sleeping in late this morning. I wish I was sleeping in late. But I have a mission to go to, to accomplish. But I want to share a quick word with you. Um, as I was just driving now, uh, a thought came to me and I decided I would want to share it. Jeremiah chapter 18 speaks of God telling the prophet Jeremiah said go down to the potter's house and there I will bring a word to you now as Jeremiah went down to the potter's house we observed a number of things Jeremiah saw the potter he saw the potter on the wheel and the potter was working with a piece of clay now if you look at clay in its natural sense natural state clay really has no value there's nothing fancy about clay nothing to be desired about clay clay can be very annoying I mean for those who are farmers you know that when you plant a crop of yams and later down when the yams comes to fruition and you want to dig that yam if if the hearth below where that yam is becomes clay due to the moisture content it can be one of the worst nightmare for a farmer to be digging yams from clay but as we look at the the whole item of the clay, the value or the lack thereof that lies in the clay. That same clay, when it was put on the potter's wheel, the potter possessed the ability to transform that piece of clay into a vessel. And in the context of the scripture, God was telling Jeremiah that Israel the clay represented Israel and he was saying to Israel that you know he could transform them as though the potter was transforming the clay but the idea that I want to bring to us this morning is that sometimes we allow pride you know to, to get in the way and we believe that it's about us I want to say to us this morning that the clay had no part to play none whatsoever in the decision process of what the clay was supposed to become it was entirely up to the potter what would become of that piece of clay there is no point where the clay could say hey I don't want to be a vessel that is to be used you know as a utility vessel I want to be a vessel of I want to be a showpiece the, the, the clay had no part no decision was on the part of the clay sometimes we decide what we want to do with our lives and sometimes you know God is giving us a call to be a counselor or to be something that you know he has called us and equipped us for but we don't want to do that because the truth is there's no money in that but God is saying I didn't call you to make money I call you to make people and when I say make people I don't speak of making people in terms of creation I speak of making the lives of people better I call you to make the broken people the broken pieces of the lives of people to, 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 to help to restore them you know but we don't want to do that we don't want to do we want to do the things that are popular the things that brings in money we don't want to serve we want to tell God that hey I have a I have a I have a decision to make and sometimes we say God is Lord but we just use Lord as a title and we don't act out the fact that God is Lord yes yes God you are Lord but when it comes to our lives you're not really Lord because you can't tell us where to work what to do you can't do any of that God 
You are only Lord when I want to call you Lord. But this morning I want to say to us that just as it is that the clay had to submit itself. I mean, if, if the clay wanted to be something else, it could not. Because it was entirely up to the potter what became of the clay. The potter was the one who shaped it. The potter was the one who made any design on it. The potter was the one who decided if this clay is go is gonna be is gonna be a vessel that goes on the top shelf or it's gonna be a vessel that stays outside in the rain. We don't want to submit ourselves to the potter. And by now you'd realize that in this in this context that I speak, we are the clay. We are for ourselves, without the potter, there's no chance of us becoming anything. It is entirely up to the potter for us to be formed for us to the impurities that even though the clay is dirt is earth there are impurities that is gonna prevent the vessel from being what it is recently i had an experience of of going into a studio where they make pottery and so on in one mile turn left on state route 60 west us 98 north lakeland tampa and what i recognize is that when you're making that vessel you can't even allow any um, air bubbles to be in it because when it goes into that oven it is going to explode I didn't know that so the potter has to be very skillful this potter determines everything that remains in that clay and what stays out my challenge this morning my simple challenge let's allow ourselves to be formed by the potter let us not try to decide what is to become of ourselves because we are not our own we belong to the potter. We are simply the clay. The potter alone decides what he wants to do with the vessel. But because we have that free will, we allow the sin of the devil, pride, to allow us to determine what we want to become, how long we stay on the potter's wheel. God bless you this morning as I challenge us to submit ourselves to the potter. Let him allow us. Turn to left become. on State Route 60 West. US 98 North, Lakeland, Tampa. What he wants us to become. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Have a great weekend. Love you.